state as a whole is in worse shape now than it was when schools closed back in the spring. So the question being raised now is how are schools going to reopen safely in the fall? Well, Governor Reeves is set to answer that during his COVID-19 update this afternoon. 12 News' Anna Fierce is live outside the governor's mansion with what to expect. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Candace. Andrew, the only big we know for sure is that Governor Tate Reeves will sign another executive order today to help manage, quote, our hardest hit areas and mitigate the risk of education. That is a quote from his Facebook page Monday night. Now, from the beginning, Governor Tate Reeves has said he wants students back in the classroom and took to Facebook last night to say that he spent the last three days reading nearly 600 pages of reopening plans and says there have to be a balance and is worried about some of the impacts extended school closures could have on students. This is something he and state health officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs do not agree on. And Dr. Dobbs says he is in favor of delaying schools because it just makes sense. I thought that maybe it would be the right time to start in August until about a little while ago. Um, I do think it's a good idea to um, put our toe in the water a little bit, kind of go slowly. Um, you know, offer as much online as we can, um, you know, uh, maybe delay in person for a little while, maybe till September. Reeves argument for Dr. Dobbs is that children are less likely to spread the virus and it's not any more dangerous than another sickness they could catch in school. Again, that's a quote from his Facebook page Monday. Now the re now the press conference will be at 2:30 today, so be sure to catch that live here on 12 News, live outside the governor's mansion. Anna Farish, 12 News.